Hello traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a new update on Bitcoin, which is going through a large bearish break at this moment. Let's take a look. And this is the Bitcoin BTC USD daily chart. And we were looking at this triangle pattern and saying that a bearish break is most likely uh, at the beginning of November and before already for a while. Of course, this pattern has played out for a long time. And yes, eventually we got the bearish breakout. Part of the reason was the moving averages were aligned to the downside. But also if we look at the, the weekly chart, you can see that the momentum prior to the triangle pattern was to the downside, right? We had a clear kind of momentum here, and then we had this triangle pattern. So from this perspective, one more break to the downside was likely. We got that break finally, right? Because it was low volatility for weeks and months. And we're seeing some increased price action here. And now the question was, the main question I think, upon the break, how does price action move? Is it strong, a lot of momentum, or is it slow, choppy, and corrective? Now, if it would have been slow, because it, lo it looks like it's showing good pace, if it would have been slow, then I think we would have seen a, a good chance of a bounce, a bullish bounce at maybe around 5K for a reversal back up. In that case, we would have had kind of a break, close and reverse, and we could have seen a, maybe a strong reversal Maybe price tag this long to moving average and then head up straight back to the 21 EMA and eventually break above it and maybe start a, a down I an mean, uptrend. Sorry. And in that case, this could have been kind of uh, the end of that uh, reversal. Sorry, the end of the retracement. And we could have seen a reversal at this moment. However, uh, price is trying to break through the 144 EMA. That's not everything. But more importantly, it is showing pretty strong candles and fast and little hesitation in this downside and pulling away from the 21 EMA with quite a lot of power. So I not ruling out that a reversal could happen, but it just doesn't seem likely at this moment. I think that, you know, after a consolidation pattern, perhaps on the four hour chart like this, you see already a start of that. We saw a break, a uh, kind of a flag, a bear flag and then a continuation break. And I think that we might see a retracement, maybe for instance, towards the 50 fib like this or 61 or 38, but ultimately that could be a bouncing spot for at least one more lower low. That's what I'm expecting at the moment. When you look at also the uh, indicator here of the MACD, ECS MACD, I, I think that is the most likely. So pullback and continuation. Now, if it manages to break above uh, the S1 as well and the uh, 61.8 fib, at around 51.40, as you can see, 51.43, then that could change perspectives, right? But ultimately, I think, let me adjust the fib like this. Ultimately, you know, we're going to have to see probably a break all the way above this zone right here, like this, before we might expect more upside. All right, so I think for the moment, all of this could just be a retracement for more downside, obviously. That's what I just said. And then what kind of target could we have in mind? Well, let's take a look. All right. Minus 272 target at 38, minus 61.8 target at 33. Let's take a look at the weekly chart too. There we go. And uh, while we're looking at support levels around at 3,300, perhaps 3,000. Yeah, those are probably the next kind of fractals that we see along the way on the weekly chart. So it's difficult to say how far this could push down. At this moment, it shows momentum. So I think therefore one lower low is likely could there be more lower lows yes uh it's difficult to say at this moment how far it is this retracement can last really it depends on what is your outlook on, on the long term with regard to bitcoin are you still bullish right or are you questioning now the long-term uh bitcoin price movement or are, were you bearish and you never thought that bitcoin was bullish right it depends on your long-term fundamental kind of view on that ultimately i think that myself i think that bitcoin will still move up to test the previous top at around 17,000 and probably break above that. But it's not going to happen this year, I think, obviously. It's probably going to happen, if it's going to happen, uh, then maybe next year. So this bearish breakout is, uh, you know, stronger than I expected. Uh, I did expect a retest of the 5K zone, but such a swift and impulsive break I didn't expect. So although I'm long-term still bullish on Bitcoin, I do think that we're going to have to see more retracement first before we see that uptrend. Specifically, we're going to see at least one retracement and one lower low at the very minimum. We'll have a new update 
uh, in uh, December, beginning of December, again, and take a look what's going on with the new price action. All right, that's it. More free analysis at EliteCurrency.com. You can also find our ECS start package there with indicators and PDFs. Some good material there to start off your trading and wish you all great trading. Cheers.